Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how in PowerPoint you can link from any shape or picture um, to another place in, in your presentation or to an external resource. And I'll give you the source files so you can uh, actually follow along um, and see how I've set up the files. But uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, you know, I'll also give you a special bonus at the end if you stick around, so hopefully you'll do that. But let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so let's say we have um, a design like this and we're looking to link out from each one of these icons or icon boxes. Um, I'll do two different examples. Let's say that I want the link to be on this circle and I uh, I wanted it to go to, uh, to a website. Um, so all you need to do is you're going to actually draw a new shape and uh, I'm going to hold shift to make that stay the same size. All right. Or actually, it makes it a perfect circle. Okay. So the trick is that you're going to create a transparent shape over whatever it is you have. And, uh, and then you're going to hyperlink out. So what I want to do is uh, you can't see, but it's my right click format shape. It pulls this up. Let's go ahead and say no line. Um, and then solid fill. You don't want to do no fill. You actually need to have a fill and then crank the transparency up to 100. And now you don't even see that it's there, but it is. Let's go ahead and open the selection and visibility pane. And I'm gonna name this uh, uh, download hyperlink. Okay, and it's there. And so now with it selected, I'm going to do control K to pull up my hyperlink box. And if I wanted to go to a website, I can just, you know, you can see a bunch of options, existing file or web page. let's say, elearningart.com, and I'm going to select OK. Um, so now if I go ahead and preview this presentation, you'll see if I click, you know, once I mouse over here, I mouse over this icon, and it's actually a hyperlink, and it pulls up the website. OK, so great. What if you don't want a circle, and what if you want to actually do something within the same document? Let's go ahead and do that. So you'll see I have a bunch of different uh, pages, and what we'll, we'll do one that skips not just to the to the downloads, which is my next one, but to websites. So um, let's actually do this one as a, a rectangle. So I'm going to grab that rectangle, same thing, just kind of trace over here, and uh, let's right-click Format Shape, and we'll say No Line, crank the transparency on the fill to 100%. Let's pull up. Selection visibility, again, I would say like website hyperlink. It's helpful to name these. Uh, it can get kind of messy when it just says like rectangle or oval. So with that selected, I'm going to say do a control K for hyperlink. And I'm going to say a place in this document. And now it'll show me the different slides that I have. And we want to go to slide three, which is websites. I click OK. And let's go ahead and preview this one. So now I'm back in here, you'll see there was the website and here we've activated a hyperlink again. We click on it, boom, we go to website. So I could have a bunch of other resources here. Anyways, that's a way that you can add interactivity to your PowerPoint uh, where you can link from one slide to another slide. You can link from one slide to other resources such as websites, uh, external websites. Um, and uh, it's really easy to do and kind of a hidden feature of PowerPoint. So hopefully you found that useful um, as I promised, I do have a special bonus for you, which you can uh, download here or look in the show notes. And I've recommended a few other videos as well if you want to check those out. Um, if you found this useful, please do me a favor and like the video if you've made it this far. I uh, really appreciate it. If you could just do take another two seconds, uh, like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks so much and you have a wonderful day.